Where is it that we're going? We are headed down to meet my friend Gary Cameron and his family to do a black bear hunt for conservation inside Idaho's Selway Bitterroot Wilderness Area, the most remote and least used wilderness areas in the lower 48. friend named Harry. He is part of the Cameron Outfitters family. He's cleaning the bugs out. He, he makes the count. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Better than the bear hunt right there. Uh-oh. Uh Whoa. Is that your bear call? <laughs> Harry, he's trying to get your hair. Yeah. He's... We good? You part of the thing green line? Uh, yes, you, you are. Go. I got a bear. With the black bear population so abundant here in the Idaho high country, uh, the advantages to conservation and the benefits go far beyond. These bears just don't get pressure and they basically prey upon the white tail and mule deer fawns and they can throw things out of balance if they're not hunted. Good for the bears, good for the deer, good for wildlife as a whole, experiencing conservation at its best. He, he enjoyed it. Yeah. He did well. Harry, how you doing, buddy? Did you do a good job? got the means to pack back in here and, and help them old fawns out. We like hunting the bear and sure enjoy them. Sending them out is helpful with the fawns and the bears alive. You have your whole family involved. All working together as conservationists for the family operation trying to provide great opportunities for conservation. Getting out good. Uh, the boys and my, my full boys working for me and, and their wives are, are very hard working. We're blessed to be able to do it for a living. Uh, thank you for the people that support us. Good to see so many representatives in the finger line with you and your family. All right. Well, appreciate you. One of the big highlights of this hunt is getting to work with an amazing pack mule named Oki. He is stable, loyal, sure-footed. Big thanks to old Oki right here. My man Oki. Wow guys, day one, two hours in the hide, and a monster black bear rolls in 40, 50 yards above me from the hide. Uh, that never happens <laughs> to me. And uh, he is down with one shot from the 33, nice and clean, anchored him quickly. We're already tagged out for bear number one. Let's go see what's up above. Great hide, lots of meat to uh, you know pass around for, for conservation, and just so cool that it happened on the first nights. But certainly the hunt is off to an amazing start and we're gonna keep going. We have a few more tags to fill with more to follow. Almost home, Oak. Anybody seen Chief? Nope. Hey, there's a lump under here. Good morning.
Fumble with brute camera and brute to expose. So many people that maybe have never hunted, never fished, never gone on a pack trip. Having people that come in and just say they ain't rode a horse before, or, you know, <laughs> I ain't ever, I ain't ever hunted before, yeah. and be able to be along and, and enjoy that time together with that person and 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 watch their first experience out here. And you got the whole family, yeah. brother, doing conservation and working together as a team. I couldn't ask for a better event. You know, I couldn't ask for a better thing. You know, uh, being out here, being with my family. You know, we got each other back. And, yeah. Uh, and we're all really excited for the future, especially our kids growing up. Hey, I gotta say a big thanks for exposing us to this great experience. Day five and it has been pouring since last night. Two hours in a downpour. I'm not sure if we're gonna have any movement tonight. We just pulled out and we're working our way back to camp because we're in for another big night of rain. We never left camp on day six, guys, because it's been raining 24 hours straight, and the river right here next door, Spike Camp, is swollen almost a foot, making it treacherous and unsafe for our horses to cross some of these areas to our hunting spots. We're gonna push through for a final hunt day tomorrow, hopefully fill some tags before we have to leave this magical place. Day six of the hunt, guys. The rain has stopped. The river dropped safe enough to cross with our mules and horses. Good luck. Let's get one, Tim. Big bear coming in right now. Second bear down, 20 minutes of shooting light left on night number six, our last night to hunt. This was the Hail Mary, got it done. I cannot believe it went down the way it did. Hopefully Tim's getting his down right now, but before it gets dark, let's go see this one. Another big, mature black bear. Lots of meat to pass around. This is Chief, he's been our right-hand man. And Chief found him first. Get done, huh, buddy? Thank you so much, buddy, for making this an easy find tonight. Good job. This is a really, really old bear that was the end of her life. How can we tell that? Oh, well, if you look at the teeth here, you can just see how her her canines are just really broke off. I mean, you look at that top oh one, just real black yep. in there. Even her front teeth are just completely gone. Yeah. Even her back teeth are even more so. And she's at the end of her life where she's sure. she's dry. She's, she's not having babies, a, a and sow. she's probably not going to make it through this year because oh, she just can't. Hunt I, I would eat, be right? surprised if there's another year in her. So yeah. that was a a good take right there. That's Harry, everybody.